All right, so the shirts are wrapped to the best of my ability. Another shirt and shoes in there. All right, got the shirts here. Got the colors I'm gonna use, blue, red, yellow, and orange. All right, so that is what we have after we put on the dye. The dye is in full effect, man, so I'm going to go ahead and put the ice on and see what we have after this. really interesting but I I just have no idea and then here's a look at the, the hoodie which you're gonna have to flip over obviously because it looks like it only goes halfway through and there's the other side over here but pretty crazy vibrant colors more vibrant than I anticipated so Washes out super easy. Maybe I was supposed to leave it in. Ah, that's terrible. Well, that did not work.
this in. Wash. So we um, had some fails here. As you can see, this did not turn out at all. Uh, it did not hold the die. Part of the reason why I think is because of just this material on this prime knit upper has to be treated, but it didn't hold the die at all. And maybe the other half of the reason is because I washed it out too early. Maybe it needed to set overnight. I honestly don't know, but I let this purple die sit overnight and I washed it right out and it didn't work either. So. I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different with this one coming up. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a black dye on this one. I use the regular dye, I'm gonna use a synthetic RIT dye instead, and I'll have a follow-up to fix this custom, because this was just terrible. I mean, I've tried it two different times with different designed dyes, and it failed on both attempts. So, really, really sad, but it is what it is. A lot of times it's a lot of um, just trying new things and just seeing if it sticks. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. This is the one though I'm super stoked about. Like this hoodie to me looks really dope. Uh, I should have done it twice though and it would have been really, really vibrant. I only did it once, which is why the white area has turned pinkish as you can see, which isn't a bad look honestly, but, um, but I, I really like the way it came out. Also the hood is really vibrant looking, lots and lots of color on the hood and the Adidas logo on the, on the chest looks really cool with lots of different colors. So this is the other t-shirt. You can see the Adidas logo. This is my favorite one and just lots of detail um for the shirt and this is just a white shirt and i washed it and dried it and it came out really really nice in my opinion and this is an old beater shirt that i had that i redid into this dye and made it like oranges and greenish and a little bit of blue and uh i don't know i, I like the results of this one as well i definitely going to be doing this again with some other stuff and i know some of you guys are probably going to draw some comparisons to what um uh, lapstone and hammer did with their mud dyes and stuff, which I think looks absolutely amazing. I think their stuff looks a thousand times better than this. But honestly, I was searching the internet high and low when I was doing my dye videos. In general, my dip dyes. And when I was doing the search and research for that, I found a lot of stuff talking about this ice dye, which is why I wanted to try it out. And that's why I did this video. Uh, I wanted to see if I can ice dye my Yeezys and just sneakers in general, but it just did not work on these ones. But the ice dye worked out on the clothes, as you guys can see here. So. I think that this technique is really fresh and it's just fun to be able to have something different and new um, and really just to turn like a white t-shirt into something crazy uh, was just super fun for me to be able to try. So I plan on doing some more of these just for myself for fun. Uh, really easy to do. You just need a handful of ingredients. You just got to be careful because obviously it's dye. Uh, but that is the end of the video though. I just wanted to uh, show you guys the failed results of these Yeezys. They look absolutely terrible. And I will hopefully learn from my mistake. And I'm actually going to, again, just turn those completely black. Hopefully it will work. And uh, I'll have a follow-up for you guys on that. But thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace.